What is up guys, welcome back to the Wildcast. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the Brian Laundry case because we have a significant update. So as everybody heard, uh, back in October, a body was found that was later uh, discovered to be Brian Laundry. Uh, the initial autopsy was inconclusive. They sent it in for a forensic anthropologist um, examination, and we have the uh, results of that now, according to the lawyers for the Brian Laundry family. Uh, they were notified of the results, and the lawyer, Steve Bartolino, um, put out a statement regarding what the family had to say. So this is what they said. Quote, Chris and Roberta Laundrie have been informed that the cause of death was a gunshot wound to the head and the manner of death was suicide. Okay. Chris and Roberta are still mourning the loss of their son and are hopeful that these findings bring closure to both families. So that's what they had to say. I want to go through some of the history of this, starting with Gabby. Okay. So Gabby Petito's body was found back on September 19th. I made several videos, like five, six different videos, doing all the updates on our case. I was looking forward to uh, doing legal analysis on our trial, but most likely that's not gonna happen anymore because the person who killed her has committed suicide. So that's some kind of justice, I guess, but we're not gonna get in the courts because I'm 99% sure that um, Brian Laundrie did it, but there could be other evidence that might change that in the future. As of right now, the most rational explanation for Gabby Petito's death is that Brian Laundrie killed her through manual strangulation, which was what the autopsy found. So after about a month from when Gabby Petito's body was found, which was on September 19th, on October 20th in Florida, near where Laundrie's car was discovered, they found the remains that were later identified as Brian Laundrie's, okay? And like I said, the initial autopsy was inconclusive, so it was sent in for a forensic anthropologist analysis, and uh, that is the results that we're getting back. And that forensic anthropologist has determined that the cause of death was a gunshot wound to the head, and the manner of death to be suicide. So let's get to what the uh, the Petito family had to say. Richard Stanford, an attorney for Gabby Petito's family, said his clients were aware of the announcement but were unwilling to add additional information regarding the suicide. And this is what uh, Stanford said. The Schmidt and Petito family have been aware of the circumstances surrounding the suicide of the sole suspect in Gabby's murder. Gabby's family will not be making a statement at this time due to the request of the United States Attorney's Office and the Teton County Prosecutor office because they're still conducting an investigation and uh, it's standard yeah. procedure for the uh, the prosecutor's office, whether it be the DA's office or the U.S. attorney's office to alert uh, involved parties to not make statements that may that may interfere with the legal system. So this is standard procedure for them to not make any statement about it. Uh, the family was asked not to make any comments and let the FBI continue their investigation. The family was also asked to wait for the U.S. attorney's office to make a determination on whether any additional individuals will be charged. When that determination is made, we will have a statement. So that was the uh, attorney for Gabby Petito's family. And they just informed us about, you know, what the uh, authorities told them, the prosecutors uh, told them to do, and they're waiting to proceed based on what the prosecutors are going to do, whether other people are going to be charged in this in the murder of Gabby Petito or not. So as of right now, the final autopsy report has not been released, so I can't show you guys that. Uh, this is reporting coming from Law & Crime. As always, they're doing a great job keeping up with this case and most important legal cases. Um, but yeah, those, that's all we have right now. We don't know if additional people are going to be charged in this, um, but I think most likely not, unless they find additional information that somebody was helping Brian Laundry cover up the crime or get away with it or something that would be, uh, you know, being an accomplice to a crime. So that can be prosecuted. But as of right now, it seems like um, Gab the Gabby Petito murder case is not going anywhere. It's basically over because the person that everybody thinks did it, uh, Brian Laundry, is dead. So there's nobody to prosecute. Right. So most likely it's over, but there's a small possibility that the prosecutors might find some accomplices or some other person that was helping Brian Laundry. So that is a small possibility, but I don't think that anything is going to come out of that. But if it does, I'll be reporting on that as always. So that's all I got to say for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure to like the video, subscribe, hit the bell, press all for future legal updates. And if you want to support my work, check out my Patreon. The link is in the description box down below. See you guys next time. As always, peace. Mega City One. 800 million people living in the ruin of the old world. And the Mega 
the structures of the new one. Only one thing fighting for order in the chaos. Judges.